Hi, and welcome to Lisa's Stamp Studio. An alien, a chocolate kiss, a light bulb, and a golf ball all have one thing in common today. They're using one punch to make four different cards, and it is the hot air balloon punch from Stampin' Up. I have worked well outside the box for today's idea, and I'm gonna be demonstrating one of them and showing you the other three. If you are here visiting from YouTube, I would love to encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on that subscribe button down below and while you're there click on that small bell icon that's next to it that will send you notifications of when I'm live here on YouTube as well as when I upload a new video let's head over to the stamp table and let's get started on today's cards here is that hot air balloon it is brand new in the Stampin' Up! annual catalog that will debut on June 4th if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you're interested in receiving a complimentary copy, head over to lisasstampstudio.com, click on the Contact Me button there at the top, provide me your full name and mailing address, and I'd be happy to send you a copy. I'm going to be using this hot air balloon to make four different cards, so make sure you stay with me to the end of the video. I'm using a four and a quarter by eight and a half inch piece of crumb cake cardstock. I've also cut a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This measures four by four. I'm gonna set those aside for right now. I also have a piece of Garden Green cardstock. So with my scissors, I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna make small fringe marks. They can be close together or far apart. It's just a matter of preference. Make sure that you don't cut all the way down because you're gonna need an area to adhere this. When you get here to the end, if it's difficult to hold, flip it over and then cut in the other direction. I've got my silicone craft sheet here for me to help do some adhering. Adhesive hot glue and liquid glue will not stick to this. I absolutely love it to help keep my work surface sticky free. So remember that grass, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna flip that over and I'm gonna add adhesive along that bottom edge. This is a lot longer than what we're going to need, but I didn't want it to fall short. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape this down here to the bottom of the Whisper White cardstock and then press that in place. I'm gonna go ahead and use a pair of scissors that I designate strictly to things that have adhesive on them. And I'm gonna flip this over and using the white cardstock edge as a guide, I'm gonna cut away the excess. I had tried cutting the paper the exact same size that I needed and I found that I came up a little bit short with the fringes on the side of my card. So you'll see that this works a lot better. This now will get mounted to that card base. So I'm gonna flip that over and I'm gonna use adhesive in my four corners and I'm gonna mount that here. I'm gonna leave a small border of that crumb cake cardstock all the way around. And just to make sure I don't damage that fringe, I'm gonna go ahead and rub from the back. I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock here and I'm gonna bring in that hot air balloon punch. This punch also includes a small banner and it also includes the basket for the hot air balloon. Those two pieces we're not using on the card today. I'm gonna to come back in now and I'm gonna use part of the crumb cake cardstock. This is longer than what I'm going to need. So I'm gonna come in with my scissors and I'm gonna cut away the excess. This is going to get attached here. I'll use my silicone craft sheet for this. I'm gonna flip this over. You can use liquid glue, you can use glue dots, but with my silicone craft sheet, I'm able to get adhesive everywhere and not worry about it falling on my work surface. And then I'm just gonna mirror these two pieces together and then line them up. Do you see the golf ball coming together? I wanna add a little bit of color to the edges of that golf ball. The golf ball itself is white and it's gonna be mounted on the white card base. So I've got my Smoky Slate ink and I've got a sponge dauber. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my finger up inside that dauber so I can control it. And I'm gonna ink that up and I'm gonna tap off some of that ink on my scratch paper. I wanna make sure that it's not too dark. And then I'm gonna come up around my edges here of the white portion of the cardstock and just provide a little bit of depth to this. And it's gonna be a little bit more noticeable once it gets mounted onto the card base itself. Here's the card base. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slip my golf ball right where I'm going to want it. Now I'm gonna keep a little bit of room here because I'm gonna add a flag and I'm gonna add a greeting. And I'm gonna bring in the flag from the above the clouds stamp set. So you can see where the hot air balloon image is intended. And of course the basket is included here as well. But I'm gonna use the flag and I'm gonna use the small piece here next to it that actually fills the flag. I'm going to bring in a pencil now and I'm going to make a very small mark on where I want that flag to go. So I'm careful to leave some of that T showing and I'm going to mark that just off center. 
So I'll go ahead and move that. I know that's going to be very, very difficult for you to see. I made it very light because I wanted to make sure I could erase it. I'm using my black memento ink pad and I've got the outline of the flag here. Now the photopolymer stamp is wonderful because it turns the color of your ink, which makes it very easy to align. Keep in mind that my pencil mark is the top of the golf ball. So I want that stem to fall just underneath it. I'm using the garden green ink pad next, and this is to fill that flag. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna ink that up and you can see that it's turned the green. And then this is gonna get filled inside of here. I'm gonna add my golf ball and tee now. So I'm gonna flip that over and with my dimensionals, I'm gonna add them to the back side. This is gonna give that a little bit of a 3D look and a little bit of a lift. I'm not gonna add them here near the bottom because I wanna make sure that I can tuck that into that grassy area. And then this is gonna slide underneath here. I'm looking for that pencil mark, which I know is really difficult for you to see making sure that my golf ball and my tee are aligned and I'll press that in place. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna give this a little bit of a realistic look. So I'm gonna be adding some white sequins to this. These are from the Basic Adhesive Backed Sequin Assortment and there's glue dots already on the back which makes it super easy to use. I'm gonna be using my Take Your Pick pickup tool. Love this because the putty tip makes it really easy to pick up sequins and small items it also has interchangeable tips on this end. It comes with the paper piercing tool, a small spatula to get up underneath those adhesives to reposition them. It also comes with a dual-sided stylus tool and a putty refill. And of course, it comes with the protective caps. Since these already have glue dots on the back, I'm gonna come up underneath it with my paper piercing tool to help me lift it. I'm gonna place one here near the top, and then I'm gonna work to add just a few others. Now I did not have a greeting in my artillery that was relative to that, so I actually printed from the computer and I did the words party for a play on words. So this will be a great birthday card. I'm gonna go ahead and flip that over as well and I'm gonna grab two more of the dimensionals and I'll place those here on the back side. Make sure you hang with me. I've got those other additional cards to share with you using this exact same punch and then I'll go ahead and mount this here near the top left side. Really cute, isn't it? And very, very easy. This one, I created it using a light bulb. Now you may notice that shiny squiggly mark. That is just fine tip glue that I allow to air dry. The Stampin' Up! fine tip glue dries completely clear. And then I added a small heart epoxy here for my light bulb. And I added a little bit of daubered color here, just like I did around the edges. This actually comes from a stamp set. And like I said, I'll link the products below. The next one is a Hershey's Kiss card. It's reminiscent of a chocolate kiss that I have used with silver foil. Made just a small banner here. Again, a stamp set that I've pulled out from my artillery. Very, very simple card. And then last but not least, this is the funniest one, I think. Here is my alien card. There is that exact same punch. Do you see how I've used it in variations to create different shapes. If you're wondering where those eyes came from, they actually came from the sprig punch. So I used just small pieces from there with black cardstock and used a little bit of liquid glue to adhere them. And of course, I printed this from the computer and added just a small embellishment. I would love to know which one of these is your favorite. They are all completely different. Now, I want to encourage you to come back on Monday where I'm going to be using this exact same bundle of products as it's intended. And you're not going to want to miss that hot air balloon card. It is really cute and really colorful. Here are four different ways to use that brand new hot air balloon punch that will debut on June 4th. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day.